Good morning dear students in the previous videos we have learned about the properties of subtraction in that we have learned that whenever the two minus or two rational numbers are subtracted the result is the rational numbers also we have learned that subtraction do not shows the property of associativity or it do not shows the property of commutativity right also we learn that subtraction has no identity and also inverse of subtraction does not exist right now let us begin with the exercise 1b question number 1 is evaluate 2 upon 3 minus 4 upon 5 the same rules we have to apply that we have learned for the addition since the denominators are different, we are going to take the LCM of denominators. It is 15. Convert the denominators into 15. So 3 is multiplied by 5. Also the numerator is multiplied by 5. This 5 multiplied by 3. Hence its numerator is also multiplied by 3. 2 5s are 10 upon 15 minus 4 3s are 12 upon 15. 10 minus 12. 10 minus 12 upon 15 so minus plus minus and sign of greater number so the final answer is minus 2 upon 15 okay now the second part minus 2 upon 7 minus 3 upon minus 14 the first thing that we are going to do is shift this minus sign to the numerator okay so we shifted this minus sign to the numerator now see what will happen when this two minus signs are together this minus sign and again next if there is a minus sign when this two minus sign comes together then minus and minus it should be becoming plus sign understood because it is minus multiplied by minus so it is plus remember this thing okay the first number remains same plus 3 upon 14 their denominators are different so let us convert the denominators into 14 because the LCM of 7 and 14 is 14 to convert the 7 into 14 we have to multiply it by 2 with the same number we should multiply to numerator also then 14 ones are 14 3 ones are 3 so minus 2 multiplied by 2 is minus 4 upon 14 plus 3 upon 14. Got it? Now the denominators are same. So what will happen now? Minus 4 plus 3. Minus plus minus. And there will be the sign of greater number. That is minus 1 upon 14. Understood everyone? Now the next question number 2. Subtract. The question number 2 is subtract. The first one is 5 upon 8 from minus 3 upon 8. So it means what we have to do? From the second number, subtract the first one. So we have taken minus 3 upon 8 first, then minus sign, and then the first number 5 upon 8. Check the denominators. Is they are same? Yes, the denominators are same. So minus 3 and minus 5 remain same upon it. So it is minus minus addition. And there will be the sign of greater number. So minus 3 and minus 5 becoming minus 8. Minus 8 upon 8. And the standard form of minus 8 upon 8 is 1 is that clear all of you understood this this is the standard form so the final answer of our question is 1 okay similarly we are going to solve the second part of the question the second part of the question is 1 upon subtract 1 upon 4 
फ्रॉम माइनस थ्री अपॉन एट सो फॉर दैट वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू टेक द सेकेंड नंबर फर्स्ट माइनस थ्री अपॉन एट एंड सब्सट्रैक्ट वन अपॉन फोर गॉट इट नाउ चेक द डिनोमिनेटर्स इज दे आर इक्वल द डिनोमिनेटर्स आर एट एंड फोर एट एंड फोर आर द डिनोमिनेटर्स एंड दे आर नॉट इक्वल इफ डिनोमिनेटर्स आर नॉट इक्वल सो लेट एस टेक द एलसीएम ऑफ एट एंड फोर द एलसीएम इज एट ओके नाउ लेट एस कन्वर्ट द डिनोमिनेटर्स इन टू एट द फर्स्ट नंबर इज माइनस थ्री अपॉन एट एंड अवर सेकेंड नंबर इज वन अपॉन फोर ओके सो टू कन्वर्ट दिस फोर इन टू एट वी शुड मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टू सो इट्स न्यू मरेटर इज ऑल्सो मल्टीप्लाइड गॉट इट इट इज ऑलरेडी एट सो नो नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई बट वी कैन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन ओके सो माइनस थ्री it becomes minus 3 upon 8 and also it is 2 upon 8 got it now see the denominators after multiplication it becomes same okay so what we can do now minus 3 and minus 2 minus 3 and Minus two upon eight. Understood. So minus three and minus two. Minus three and minus two. Minus minus addition. But there will be the sign of greater number. So it is minus five upon eight. This is the final answer. Understood, everyone? Any doubt in it? Okay. Now the next one. Again, we have to subtract minus nine upon twenty-two from five upon thirty-three. Okay. So for that, what we are going to do? Take this first number, five upon thirty-three. Means from this number, we have to subtract the first one. So minus minus nine upon twenty-two. Understood what we have done? From the second number, we have to subtract our first number. Okay. Check the denominators. Is they are equal? No. Denominators are not equal, right? So let us calculate the LCM of thirty-three and twenty-two. Thirty-three, twenty-two. we need to calculate their lcm 11 11 3s are 11 2s are 3 1s are and again what it so the lcm of 33 and 22 lcm of Thirty-three and twenty-two is eleven into three thirty-three. Thirty-three two is a sixty-six. Sixty-six is the LCM of denominators. Okay. Now the next step: convert the denominators into sixty-six. Right? Now see five upon thirty-three minus minus nine. Upon twenty-two, these are the two numbers we are going to convert the denominators into sixty-six. So thirty-three twos are sixty-six. So its numerator is also multiplied by two. Correct. Denominator twenty-two threes are thirty-six sixty-six, 
hence its numerator is also multiplied by 3 got it now 5 to the 10 upon 66 minus 9 3 the 27 upon 66 this minus sign like this now what will happen here this minus and minus together minus two signs are there so this minus and minus is going to become as a plus sign 27 upon 66 so 10 plus 27 got it so 10 plus 27 is how much 37 37 upon 66 understood everyone see once again I am explaining here 5 upon 33 minus minus 9 upon 22 so what we have done we have taken the LCM of 33 and 22 like this the LCM is 66 then to convert the 33 into 66 we should multiply it by 2 same number we should multiply to numerator also minus take the second number multiply it by 3 the numerator is also multiplied by 3 5 to the 10 upon 66 minus this minus 9 into 3 is minus 27 upon 66 minus and minus these two are the minus sign together so it is becoming as a plus sign 27 upon 66 so 10 plus 27 upon 66 so 10 plus 27 is 37 upon 66 this will be the final answer okay